Welcome everybody. Today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to resolve the unidentified AC adapter issue that you might experience in the new Lenovo ThinkPad P16 Gen 1. As you can see here, I bought the Lenovo just four days ago and it came with this, with a, a AC adapter that shipped with a computer. It's connected to the wall, right? And I'm now going to connect it to the machine so that we can recreate the error from scratch. And so we open up the computer, we turn on the machine. So after we get the Lenovo intro screen, we get this error message, essentially telling us, hey, whatever adapter you're using, it's, it's not the correct one, which is false, completely false. So let's press the escape key. You'll notice on the bottom right corner that we're not getting any power. The computer is not charging at all, even though it, it is connected. Same thing after we log in, we, we are not, we're not indicating any, any power. So we flip the machine over, uh, we uh, unscrew the back, the quick access panel first. That's gonna be the first thing we, we're gonna touch. We pull down from the, from the top and just slowly uh, un, unhinge it from, um, from, uh, you know, from its position. Uh, in the back, we are going to unscrew the bottom right hand the screw. Now keep in mind that all of the screws on this machine do not come completely off. They just get loosened. They are part of the chassis and you will never be able to remove them completely. So they just, they just, and it's good because you don't want to lose some of these screws at all. So they just stay, stay part of the chassis. So don't try to pull them out forcefully. Okay. So we do, so we remove the, the remaining screws from, uh, from this machine all around. And then we get a guitar pick or something, uh, something plastic that's hard that, that can help us nudge the, the chassis of the, the, the motherboard. So we go, like I'm, I'm showing you here, uh, start from the bottom, from the sides, and then evenly try to pull up, careful with the side ports, the, the, the USB side ports. Now we start unscrewing the battery. So the battery is gonna, it's gonna be towards the very bottom and it's this long black, uh, uh, portion of, of, uh, of the back of the machine. So there are three screws. These screws you can take fully off. Make sure you don't lose them. Put them somewhere, somewhere close. And then we, we pull it up from the top first and we uh, unhinge it from the, from the bottom metal portion of the chassis and then we flip over the machine. So this is the important uh, next step. Once we've gotten the battery off, what we wanna do is we wanna do a full discharge of the machine. We hold the power button for 60 seconds, a full minute, okay? Once we uh, have completed this, we gently close back the laptop, um, hold on to the metal, uh, we put back the battery in uh, bottom first, so slot the, slot the bottom uh, connectors or <laughs> section of the, of the battery into the chassis. There's, there's no connectors really, you just, you just drop it in, but, um, but uh, you just have to be, be, make sure that the, the bottom sits well into, into the chassis. Okay, then you screw it back in. So take the screws gently, uh, fully, fully uh, set them back in. Okay, there's, th there's gonna be three screws. So we then put the, the, the back cover. Uh, make sure that with the back cover, you probably wanna start where the, where the AC uh, adapter and the HDMI ports are because it's slanted at an angle. So once you get that through, then everything else should be, should be fairly easy um, for the rest of the, of the back cover. Uh, press it down uh, hard you know, with force and, and until you hear everything click, like everything is supposed to click. I've, uh, just as before, make sure the sides, the, the ports on the sides, uh, USB ports are not, are not getting jammed and, and, and uh, bent. Then you just start screwing the, the screws. Uh, this is where those uh, screws remaining in place with a cover is, a, is always a good thing because now you don't have to go hunting for the screws and hopefully you didn't lose anything. The, um, you know, once we finish screwing everything up, uh, we put the quick access panel. Uh, the top you insert it first, then you just press hard until you hear it click, and then s s screw that last remaining screw in 
tightly. So from here, so all you're going to do, once, we, we're, once we're done here, we're, we're going to retest the, the fix. So plug, plug that cord back in. Open up the machine. Power it up. And we're going to go into, in, in semi-real time here, we get the Lenovo uh, splash screen. And then we just cross our fingers. We should work, right? But just cross our fingers and we should go to the login screen. That error message should be gone, no longer there. And it's, yeah, it's working. So now at the bottom right hand corner, you will see the, uh, the power that indicates that it's receiving power. Same thing after we log in, presto. All right, so as you can see, resolving this issue with the battery uh, information and the error message you're getting that you are not using the correct AC adapter even though you are with the new Lenovo P16. It's not an easy thing to do. Um, you have to open up the laptop. You have to remove the battery, do a full discharge by holding down the power button for a full minute and then putting it back, uh, everything back together. And if you're not used to doing this, it's going gonna, it's gonna to be very time consuming. But hopefully this video shows you, gives, shows you those instructions and how to uh, get it done. It used to be much easier with the older Lenovo's because you had it back, you had a case in the back where you can just unlatch it and remove the battery. But here everything's in, it's integrated and you have to uh, open everything. Uh, but, but as you can see, the problem is resolved. We now have 100% battery. We, still ha we now have that little uh, power icon on there. I hope this video has been useful to you and that you can, you can follow these instructions. And until next time, take care.